Hey, hey everybody. Happy Sunday. What is happening? It is a beautiful day outside. Absolutely beautiful. Um, we are just so lucky here in Queensland. I want to jump on the camera and realize I've got a dreadlock. Anyway, that's not the conversation for today. So let's talk about health. Health is like mm, the most confusing thing apart from our own emotions uh, that any of us can really try to understand, right? How many of you are trying to understand your emotions, your children's emotions? your partner's emotions, and then you're looking at weight loss. How many of us have tried looking at weight loss and you're like, there's everything and then there's life and then there's trying to find a manageable way to be you and lose weight and be healthy. So being healthy and losing weight are the most confusing things right down to understanding men versus woman, right? It's all like this whole like minefield, absolute minefield. So I want to have a quick chat today about that is like health is so confusing and we have too many other things to be worrying about, right? Our, our relationships are a daily task with ourselves, with our children, with our partners. Don't get me started on all of that. We're not going to go to that today. We'll do the, the health thing today. That's for another conversation. So um, I wanted to talk, I've been having some groups, some, so many groups are having these um, big chats at the moment. I see everyone's like, how do I lose my belly fat? How do I lose my last five kilos? Who's tried? What is everyone? What products has everyone got on the market today? And I just, it, 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 I love that people are asking the questions. Like you never know unless you ask a question, right? You just don't know until you know. And so all of these people are asking for the quick fix. And I've got a, one of my clients who actually, she tried keto and she'd been doing keto for a while and she got results and then it stopped, got results and then it stopped. And every time it stopped, the body went back up here and sometimes further, like worse. And so what's going on here, right? Like you're getting the results. Like why isn't it staying? Why isn't it sticking? Why can't I just have my results? Because I'm doing the product. I'm doing the thing that so many people are getting amazing results in. And there was just this disconnect and this, this this heartbreaking feeling for her when she realized that she was like, but everyone else is getting great results on keto. Why can't I get it? Um, the same with every program, right? Um, I've been a representative for three companies and the same thing. It, I got out of that industry for many reasons, but one of the main ones was that I was so sick of like half my customers being like, yeah, best thing of my life. And then other customers being like, this is a crock of shit and I'm not getting the results. So this is the fraud and this is wrong. And same with personal training. Like I spent three and a half, four, four and a half years of personal training and the same thing would happen. Some clients would get results. Some clients would come to me and they were like, kill me, just, just flog me. Like, let's just do all of the things. And other clients, I was like, let's do push-ups," And they would almost burst into tears, right? Has anyone had that experience? Have any of you gone to a personal trainer or tried a diet and it's, it's said the recommendations and you've just wanted to cry? You've just felt so disconnected, so disheartened and like you're left in a lurch of like, but what can I do now? All of these things will work. Like if you try any program, any product, if it is different to your norm, you will have a shift and an adjustment. Okay, it is so common. And if you have a friend, if, if you've got a friend right now that you know is like this, tag them, share them in, share this with them. Just bring them along and let them have this discussion with me. Comment below and I'll, I'll happily have the conversation. But so many of us have gone and tried these products and these regimes and you will get a shift. You will get a shift no matter what you try. But how long will it last? And is your body actually going like, hey, this feels good? Or is your body like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? And it has a shift. Your body will always shift and drop weight or do things initially. You will feel like maybe lighter. Maybe you will feel like you're energized more. But for how long? Hmm. And then you've got a life, right? You've got children. You've got family. You've got a job. So you're doing this new thing that maybe feels good or maybe it doesn't. And then you've got to try and face your reality the next moment and try and keep on top of everything. It becomes very overwhelming. And I totally understand because it too did that for me. So talking with my client and, and I've been watching a few discussions on social media and we realized that most people are doing weight loss the wrong way for themselves because ultimately you are looking at what someone, oh, there it is. You're looking at what someone else is experiencing. 
You're looking at someone else's story and you're going, fix me. Let me have you. Let me have your journey, your experience. And the thing is, it will never, ever work long term <laughs> because your DNA. So many of my clients come through my programs go, I wish I had understood my unique health type so I didn't have to waste years guessing. So I didn't have to waste years and thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars and emotional dollars investing in stuff, almost said it, in stuff that is not specific to you. Because you can do these things, like I said, and they will have an effect for a certain amount of time. But the longevity in all of that is a whole different kettle of fish. Hi, Rochelle. Hi, Sue. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jody. So thank you for joining on a Sunday passion filled rant. So everyone gets out there and they're like, I need to lose weight. I want to be the best version of myself. A, what does that look like? Who are you versing yourself against? Are you looking at Victoria's Secret models and you're a big giant like I am and you're looking at a Victoria's Secret model and you're like, I want to be skinny like her. Or are you a guy who is quite a frail body who can't put weight on and you're going, I want to be like Arnold, right? Are you, are you taking yourself and giving yourself an idealized view or goal that actually is just genetically not possible unless you're willing to go on some hefty drugs and some experimental tangents and see if it works and potentially lose your balls, never be able to have kids for women, get breast cancer, end up with ovarian cancer, whatever it might be. I don't want to get too doomy gloomy, but so many people are looking at these ideals that they wish they could be and not actually understanding what's possible for your DNA. You, my darlings, are 100% you. And there is no template or program that will help you to lose weight forever. So yeah, you might try one of these amazing products that make an effect on one health type for a certain amount of time. But I guarantee you, I was gonna, I was gonna ask who on here has had a drug story. Don't, don't comment on that, you don't have to. Um, but so many people I know have had time experimenting with drugs of any shape and size, whether that be a nutritional drug, a, um, a recreational drug, a psychedelic drug, whatever it might be. In vitamins and minerals, these come in too. Who's had drugs, vitamins, minerals, everyone, just about everyone would say they've had an experience with one of these things. We all know the body becomes adapted to those substances because they're not actually serving the body in the way that they should. When we take substances, when we're taking products, when we're having things that are um, going to enhance or push the body, the body gets to a point and it goes, e I'm used to this and I've adapted to surviving in this. Hey, Emma. And when I adapt to surviving in this, I now need to require more of this to get the same effect. Those who've had, like I said before, those who've had substance or drug or um, supplement, times of having playing with these sorts of things you'll realize that your body gets to a point and goes uh i either need to get off of this or i need more your body can only get so far and it needs to have more of these substances because the body adapts the body will adapt to surviving in whatever environment you put it in for so long so then we look at a rubber band if i'm stretching a rubber band it's going to go like this Eventually, due to the environment, so the weather, the sun, the moisture, the usage of it, the body will eventually go boing, 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 snap. Okay? We are, as humans, as beings, as bodies, as vessels, have this same capability. I can stretch, come back, stretch, come back. I'm 16, I'm eating Maccas and I'm having these and I'm having all these terrible things and I'm out partying constantly and I bang, come back, bang, come back, stretch my body, my mind, come back. As we get older, how many of us are in our 30s and 40s and going, yeah, the stretch back, the bang back doesn't happen so much anymore. That takes a few more days. Because eventually your body goes, you know what, dude? Done with it. Caffeine, Jody, thank you. Caffeine is the other drug. Yes, 100%. Too much caffeine dependent, all that causes problems. But for some of you, sugar, thank you, Emma. Yeah, sugar is another massive one. I, I am an emotional being and I am a seafood eater. If I see the food, I'm going to eat it. And if I like the feeling, I'm going to want it more. And I'm such a sensual being. Some of you, um, Jody, I, I know you're not going to mind me saying this. Some of us, like Jody, one of my clients, she's an amazing journey. She's 100 grams off of her goal weight um, she's lost. 
and she's just had amazing results but it's not been the give me the quick fix it's been the show me what to do so i can improve all elements of my life so this stays so that i understand my responsibility and how my environment enables me to stay in this good state Hey Lisa, so when we're looking at our drugs and our effects and things like that, and our rubber band effect on our life, sure, I can stretch and come back, but you are not broken, is what I'm getting at. All of us are stretching our life, stretching our bodies, and giving it way more than it's actually designed for. What I teach is understanding those environmental factors that will deteriorate our rubber band, love metaphors, deteriorate our rubber band and cause it to crumple, maybe it gets gooey, whatever it is. There's these elements in our life that will continuously bombard us. And if we are not feeding and nourishing our body, our rubber band, to being able to bounce back, we will lose it and it will break. And this will cause dis-ease. This will cause the brain problems like Alzheimer's. Um, I'm going to go off on a tangent quickly. How many of you believe that eating raw is the best, healthiest way to be? Like there are so many people out there that go, I'm eating raw and yet I have belly problems. My brain is foggy. My energy lags. I'm suffering from bloat. I'm suffering from different problems within my stomach. Um, I'm irritable. Some of you out there are not meant to eat raw food. I know. It's crazy, right? Why would I be able to say that? Raw is good for everybody. This is where we're wrong. This is where society has got it wrong. Salad is really not good for certain health types. Salad is really actually something that's only good for specific people at specific times. Now this is not saying yeah or nah to any one thing. It's understanding that you as your amazing self are a rubber band that has certain environmental elements that work for you and that work against you. And when you get to just simply understand what those things look like, you get to gain your bounce back. You get to become more resilient and resistant in life and you get to finally get these opportunities to be like, hey, I know that when I'm in this environment, I need these things to help me be good and flourish. Now, we we're talking about caffeine before. If you are an endomorph body type, but we're going to get a little bit sciencey. If you're an endomorph body type and you're waking up first thing in the morning and you're smashing coffee because you're up too early before 7 a.m., and you're up before 7 a.m. and you are smashing coffee, you will never lose weight. You will never sustainably lose weight. Why? And you will be irritable. And you will have cravings at 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Is this hitting the bell for anyone? Is anyone like, oh my God, that's me. If you're an endomorph body type and you are having um, energy drinks of any kind and a stressful morning and you are... Um, running about your day, nothing's running on your time, everything's getting on top of you and you just can't cope, there are some very simple ways of fixing that and empowering you and enabling you. Yeah, I've got some, I've got some love hearts there. Yeah, so many of us as the big body types are the ones that go, oh, I must be and do all of the things for everyone in my life. So I'm going to push myself because I've got reserves because my body just won't drop the weight, right? Ugh. So I have these reserves, so I know I can keep going, but I will keep going. And then my body eventually goes, I'm done. I'm so done. I'm in dis-ease. I'm in disharmony. Can't keep functioning. What's going on? I'm, and this is where breast cancer comes about, ovarian cancer comes about. These are where the, the, the gut ailments and the, um, all these problems come about. Understanding the other spectrum of our health health types is who are the short, fiery ones? Or maybe you know someone who's a short person, they're quite agile, they're quite fiery, they speak their mind, they're the kind of people that wear their hearts on their sleeve and they just blah, 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 hmm. speak their mind, they might be a bit ferocious about things, but um, they love a challenge, they love to be excited about life, they love to see the different perspectives, don't make them sit still. These are the ones, yeah. Get up first thing in the morning, do your jam, have some fast um, uh, hit training, get amongst it, have a challenge, see who can push that thing the furthest. I bet you can't do five more push-ups. They're the ones that love it and can have caffeine within reason. They can eat constantly, grazing. They're the ones that actually were designed with a jaw structure to chew protein. I know. Here I am saying there are certain ones of us that need to be vegetarian at certain times of the day. I'm not saying anyone needs to be vegan and I'm not saying anyone needs to be meat eater. I'm saying there's a certain time of the day that your body, my darling, is going to do really, really well with those things. 
your body will actually really, really benefit from things at certain times. I myself, breakfast, schmeh. Lunch, gladiator. I'm going to eat like a queen. I'm going to have some really good proteins that are designed for me. But I'm not going to go eating a steak that's the size of my hand. I'm going to go eating some well-cooked digested proteins that are probably the size of my fist at this angle. See how the world's like totally back to front? I'm going to eat my steak. I'm going to eat half my chicken. Yeah, sure. Constipation and your gut's going to really love you. Your body is going to go shut down to digest. But we don't want that. We want the body to be able to function quickly and effectively. So getting back to caffeine for endomorphs, there's my tangent. Some of us actually can have caffeine, but it just needs to be at a middle, later time of our day. The simplest tweak of going, don't have a caffeine hit at 6 or 7, how's about you have it at 11 or 12? Because you're probably the kind of person that does really, really well to go up later at night as well, without suffering. <laughs> Get it? So it doesn't mean caffeine is bad for someone. It's when are you having it? Why are you having it? And what's going on in the rest of your life that will be affecting whether or not that's benefiting you or hindering you, right? Same thing with our foods. Same thing with our weight loss stuff. Same with, thing with your fitness. Do you know how many clients I have banned from training in the morning? Banned it. I know, crazy, right? I'm a personal trainer too, along with everything else. I was like, if you train in the morning, you're off my books. Because it can be detrimental to your health. It can absolutely backtrack all of the hard work you're trying to do. All of your sanity, all the effort. Like We're all time poor. Is anybody here, can anyone tell me that they're not time poor? Right? Everyone's really busy. So you want the best bang for your buck. If you're investing time and energy in training, don't you want it to be actually working? And this is where the conversation gets to really cool because you actually do now get to understand that. You do now get to understand that, hey, I'm actually better off making some time over here to train rather than over here. So maybe if I move my day, how many of you are in corporate or in business and do business meetings? Like, would love to see that. How many of you are having to go and do interactive meetings? And then how many of you have got an email list that just never ends and paperwork and analytics and, and, and all the nitty gritty hard stuff that I'm actually sitting here procrastinating about doing a live? Hello? Is there's actually specific times of the day when you, only you, function best at doing those things. I know that for me, there's a certain time of the day that I am bang on for being in the public, doing the talking, doing the thing, hence my live, and interacting with people. And then there's a time of the day where I'm actually best to be sitting here and doing my emails. There's a time of the day that I'm best to be organizing and scheduling. Wouldn't that be kind of cool if you knew what part of your day best suited what activities so that the rest of it was just high, high, um, high effectiveness. We all want to be our ultimate self. We all want more time for ourselves. We all want more time for our children and our partners. And yeah, there'll be a transition period for everyone. I'm still going through my transition period. I spent, what, four and a half years as a qualified award-winning chef. I spent four and a half years as a, in mining and, and horrible industries. Then I spent four years in um, personal training. And I tell you what, my whole life was the wrong way around. <laughs> the wrong way around. And I couldn't lose the weight. I got up on stage doing bodybuilding and I just couldn't get the right result. My trainer was like, you're doing it wrong. You're not doing enough. You're ruining it by eating the wrong foods. And I was like heartbroken because I was dedicating my heart and my soul to get an effect. And he was training all of these gorgeous girls that were winning medals. And I was his frustration point. Why? Because the man was used to training one type of health type and actually hadn't stopped to consider or know or understand that my body, my phenotype, phenotype is our genetics and how they show up. So I have big hands, I have big feet, I have curly hair, I have big hips and big shoulders. That's my phenotype. So my phenotype required different stimuli at different times of the day to have the same effect that these girls were getting over here. So do we get how maybe all these fitness training things and, and oh, I see all the fitness models and, and all these amazing people with products. If you are a product company, 
and I'm, this is the only time I'm going to do you credit. Your products are only good for your clients at different times of the day. If you're an isogenics person, you are ruining your clients by getting them to have some of that stuff first thing in the morning. If you want effectivity in the products you're selling, learn their genetics. Learn what each health type needs at what time of the day and stop ruining bodies. No one deserves to be in a template. No more. I'm so passionate about this. None of you should be on any template that is given in a pretty picture with a pretty background. Anything that comes with a template that you know has been on Facebook and has just been blasted out there, that is not specific to you and it will not serve you long term. Your body will not survive. So stop wasting your time. I know it's confusing, but it doesn't actually have to be. We're in a space now where it literally gets to be, this is me and here I am and I can stay in my own lane and I can understand my genius at the same time as understanding your genius and then seeing how we get to communicate effectively in the workplace, in the relationships, in our environment. And then I get to understand my children. Actually, that still is a minefield to me. I'm working on that. I can understand my partner. Yeah, that's a thing that we grow when we, we adapt and we get to understand the emotions with the physical and the, uh, and the environment. <laughs> that's, a, like I said, a conversation for another day. I'm really, really excited to share that one. He's not, but I am. Um, and so understanding that all of these things were a minefield for most of our life. We go to school and they're like, do this, be the robot. Can't do the robot. Be these things that society wants us to be. But no one's got a freaking idea whether or not that works. Only because some dietitian or some doctor gets in there and says, hey, you need to do this because my textbook told me that this is what works for you. Actually, ah. Oh. So, a really good testament to this. Um, I am not a racist at all. And what I say right here, right now, is my opinion and my understanding from everything that I know. And I have no qualm or no issue for this race at all. I love them and I have many, many friends in it. And that's why I'm talking about it right now. I have many Muslim friends of mine. Take that as you will. Every human is a beautiful specimen in all that they are. And I'm totally fine with what I'm about to say. So I have Muslim friends and at the moment they are on their fasting period. Now, I was speaking with one of my Muslim friends and I was like, hmm, I spoke to him about burqas and all that sort of stuff. And he's like, you know what? We don't all have to do that. We, don't have, we, can, we can understand that that's part of our religion, but whether or not we take that belief is up to us. And I was like, that's fascinating. But they're all fasting. And I said to him, I said, how, like, he's this guy, like, he's a, he's a tall gentleman and he's quite skinny. And as soon as I saw him, he's, his body's doing this, right? He was hunched over. This is not a good shirt for this. He's hunched over. Okay, and he's like hunched over and this is how he was talking to me. And I said, how long have you been fasting? And he said, I've been fasting, Shana, for two weeks and we've got another two to go. And I was like, what the actual fudge? So how many people are here have tried fasting? Can I get a show of hands of like, have you tried fasting? Have you looked at fasting? So with the Muslims, they don't eat between sun up to sun down and they're not even allowed to drink water brain cataclysmic explosion on every element right there but they don't and I said to him I said this is curious so you guys are only eating your calories at night time he goes yeah I said so some of them are tall and skinny very tall and skinny and their brains you know are automatically are very analytical so during the day they're flailing but at night time they're eating and they're like on fire and their brain comes alive and then they go to bed but they're not putting on weight I said interesting so Give me a ratio on how many of your friends and family are morbidly obese and fasting. And he went, you know what, Shana? Well over half of them are morbidly obese and they're fasting for an entire month. Right? They're fasting for an entire month where during the day they eat nothing and then they, they eat at night time. And I mean, fasting for our endomorph bigger body types is actually meant to be Fasting, so for some of you, it, it's going to be either lunch or breakfast are going to be the meal that you do eat. That time frame is a time frame you do eat. And then the rest of the day, you don't eat. So when it comes to fasting, it doesn't work for everyone. And it really matters what time of the day you do it. Is this resonating with anyone? Is anyone like, oh my God, I was fasting. Has anyone actually tried fasting? Yeah, so a lot of people do this water fast. Let's quickly jump on. Oh, let's quickly jump on to water fasting. How many of you have heard of water fasting? 
Okay, so there's a couple health types that this is okay for. Some of you, I know that there's so much study done about water fasting and its amazing properties and everyone should do it because it regenerates cells and blah, 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 blah. A fast can be different for each and every one of you. For some of you, a water fast, a detox, actually, for, for several of the health types, a detox is actually um, one meal. If they don't eat one meal, that's cataclysmic. That's like huge. Their body and their brain is just like, what is going on? Like, holy crap. So one of the, if, if one of six health types, that's going to be detrimental to spend an entire day doing that. Maybe if they skip two or three meals, that might be the cell regeneration for that health type. Then you've got other health types that you're pretty well causing, um, uh, what do we call, um, oh, my brain, uh, very er erratic behavior. So we've got these people out there that get hangry and get hangry to the point that civilization is at a risk. <laughs> these people should never do a water fast. And some of them are pretty in tune with themselves. And they're like, for the sake of my community, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fast because I understand that I become a monster. And so many of them do. And then they're trying to do these fasts. And they're like, why can't I succeed at this fast when they're doing it and they're doing it and they're getting a benefit? Because it's not right for you. Some bodies just should not do those things. Water fasting is only good for one or two health types for a certain amount of time. But doing any extended periods, all you're doing is stressing your body and putting it into survival mode. Rubber band, right? Rubber band. Stretch. Bang, comes back. Stretch, snap, not so much. So understanding that none of these things are actually beneficial for every single person. And some of you need to take severe caution within it. Some of you need to really wake up to yourself and understand that your body is requiring so much more than what you're actually putting into it. And doing things at the wrong time of the day can be huge. A lot of my clients in the first week or two will gain, will gain, will lose, you know, like three to seven kilos in two weeks. And we don't actually even look at their food. We do nothing with their food. Why? Yeah, Jody, that was you. Jody's a hangry person. She's like, for the sake of the world and my children, I must eat. Um, where was I going with that? Someone help me. Time of the day. Yeah. So people will lose a lot of weight if we can just shift the time of the day they're doing things. Initially, it'll be, I don't care what you're eating. Please just make sure that we are having you waking it around this time, that we are having you eating at these times, and we'll work out what you're actually eating another week. But the specifics of you getting your time of day right is the be-all and end-all of your success in 98% of your life. 98% of your life, your success, your ability to continue and go on is dependent on when you are doing the thing. It's that simple. I've ranted on for a very long time right now. So I'm going to cl close it out here. So if you're someone that's like, what the fuck is she on about? How do I know this? How do I find this out? I am running a 10 day booster program because I get some of you are like six week program. That's too long of a commitment. I don't even know what this is yet. This thing is like mind blowing and curious and peculiar. If you're someone who wants a boosted starter, if you just want to dip the toe in because you're a bit bit cynical or maybe you don't have the money to fully invest or you don't actually understand what you're investing in yet. The 10 day program is super cheap, super awesome, super fun. And it's based on a detox and food optimization with full access to the program of what I do for 15 days, full access. Okay. What have you got to lose? Why not actually spend 15 days knowing you and understanding you? And getting what it actually means and feels like to live your ultimate self. 15 days. How long do some of you spend waiting for a doctor, waiting for a physio, waiting for an appointment? And yet many of you would be too scared to invest 15 days. I'm calling you out. It's like 15 days. Who has not got 15 days to, towards your health, your lifestyle and your wellness and to understand a bit more of who you are? So if that's you and you're like, I want to know, send me a message. This conversation gets to get amazing, incredible. In 10 days, you start to understand a lot of what we're talking about here and how you get to show up. You got nothing to lose. Actually, well, if you do the detox, you might lose a fair bit, um, depending on which health type you are. 
but you're also going to understand the environmental elements, the personal aspects of emotions, the triggers, everything. It gets to be incredible. 15 days. Join me for 15 days live in a boosted starter program that will give you the opportunity to understand deep of what I do without putting yourself into any membership, without putting yourself into any like massive program or a massive commitment. It's 15 days of simply getting to understand what this is and what this gets to look like for you and why clients are getting amazing results and longevity. I love you all. Go have a good Sunday. I'm going to stop procrastinating and go get on to creating these corporate programs to change the world from the corporate side. Yes, because that's where it's all at. I love you all so much and thank you so much for spending so much time with me today. Um, any questions, fire at will. You will also be able to scroll down my feed and see the posts that I've done about this. So inform yourself, educate yourself and understand greater as to what you are, who you are and how you get to show up in this world. Because I'm sick of seeing templates. I think you're all freaking amazing. And I can't wait to see you all understand this. I can't wait to see you all flourish. Yeah, flourish and thrive. I can't wait to see you all succeeding. Because that's why I'm here. That's why I'm ranting. That's why I do what I do. Because you all get to understand how simple this gets to be. Easy? No. Simple? Yes. And you're all human. You're all messy. And you're all perfect. I love you. Adios, amigos.